boys and girls, welcome to Sunday School. Hope you had a safe and relaxing Christmas break and we are on to lesson six today and it is God preserves his word. So before we do that, we're gonna do a prayer today and we're gonna do one of the four that we have talked about. So we've talked about I love you prayers, I'm sorry prayers, thankful prayers and please prayers. So today, today I want you to think of something that you were thankful for and then I'll start the prayer off and then you can add in whatever you are thankful for today, okay? Here it goes. Dear God, you give us everything. Today I want to thank you especially for... Amen. Good job, boys and girls. Okay, so today we're gonna do is we're gonna talk a little bit about um, what does preserve mean? Because it's our God preserves his word is what our title of our lesson is. But what does that word preserve mean? Hmm. Well, did you know that God's word can never be destroyed? It will last forever. Okay. The Bible is God's word and he loves it, loves it very much. He will always preserve it. Hmm. So now we need to think what that word means. Okay. So in order to do this, preserve means to protect and to keep something safe. So I have a toy here. It's a little special toy to me, okay? And I'm gonna place this toy in a plastic bag. Just like this, okay? And I'm gonna seal it up to keep it safe. There we go, okay? So it's in the plastic bag and it's all nicely sealed up, okay? I'm gonna, I have a bowl of water here. Let me just move my papers a little bit and I'll just put a towel just in case I don't wanna get the table wet. Okay, I'm gonna place this toy in the bag in the bowl of water, okay? Just like that. I'm just gonna move it around a little bit. Now, when I take the bag out, is the toy going to be like this in the bag? Is the toy going to be wet or dry? That's right, it's gonna be dry. Why is it gonna be dry? Because it's in a plastic bag. And the plastic bag kept the toy dry, right? It preserved the toy. I didn't want the toy to get wet so or get ruined, so I kept it safe by putting it inside the plastic bag. Now, does God need a plastic bag to preserve his word? Not really, no. Right, of course he doesn't. God is powerful and wise. He always protects his word and keeps it safe and he always will. God's word lasts forever, okay? We're gonna talk a little bit more about that coming up. But I have another word for you, destroyed. So can God's word be destroyed? So what does destroy mean? Right, to ruin something, right? Or to wreck it, right? Do you think God would let anyone destroy his word? Nope, he won't, that's right. But guess what? There was a king who did try to destroy God's word, okay? And the book Bible tells about it in the book of Jeremiah in the Old Testament. So we're gonna just little, talk a little bit about what happened, but let me tell you a little bit first, okay? Um, there was a man named Jeremiah. He was a prophet of God. That means God would tell Jeremiah what he wanted the people to know. And it was Jeremiah's job to tell them exactly what God had said. So Jeremiah had a friend who helped him write down all the words that God said. They didn't have books back then. So they wrote it on scrolls. So a scroll is like a piece of paper. They'd write it and then they would roll it up and then they would tie it and then a scroll looks something like that. So that's what they did. They wrote on some, some sort of paper and then they'd roll it up into rolls and they were called scrolls, okay? So I'm gonna read a little bit to you. So one day there was a king, his name was Joachim, Joachim, and he was listening to God's word that Jeremiah had written down. But the king did not like God's word at all because he did not love or fear God. Let's see what he did when he heard God's word. Okay, so now the king was sitting in a winter house in the ninth month with a fire burning in the fire pot before him. Jehudi, the scribe, began to read the words of God from Jeremiah the prophet. 
But as he read three or four columns from the scroll, the king cut pieces off the scroll with a knife. Stop reading, he would say. And he threw the pieces of the fire, of pieces into the fire pot until the entire scroll was consumed with fire. Hmm. Uh-oh, King Joachim had lost his temper when he heard God's word. Can you believe that he cut up the scroll and burned it? Now, let's talk about kind of a little bit about that. So the king was in his house near a fire keeping warm and his scribe was reading the words. And then the king cut up God's word and threw the pieces in the fire. The words of God were gone. Could they get him back? Hmm. So King Joachim did destroy the words of God. But wait a minute, I thought God's word would always, God would always preserve his word and keep it safe. That doesn't make sense, does it? And that is true. No man can destroy God's word, not even in a fire. So the Lord told Jeremiah to take another scroll and write the words again. Jeremiah obeyed God and wrote down what God was telling him one more time. God will not let his word be destroyed. He will preserve it and make sure it lasts forever so people like us can read it and learn about God. Pretty cool, hey? So it wasn't really destroyed. He just wrote it down again on another piece of scroll. Okay? So today, if you are in pre-K in grade 2-3, so pre-K to 3, you have a little piece of paper like this and you've got a string on it. Okay? You are going, and then you're gonna see a piece of paper like this, and on this side here is a sheet that you can color, okay? When you're done coloring it, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to roll it up. You can roll it all the way like this. Use your string to tie it into a scroll, so that way you will have your own scroll at home that way. Okay, there's also some more coloring sheets just like this as well. Okay, God's word guides your path. And then we're going to read our Justin and Jesse story in just a minute. So here's a coloring sheet to go along with that story. All right, if you were in grades four and up, uh, you have a sheet that looks like this. Okay, and there is a coloring sheet just like this. Now it says, here's a sheet here, God's word cannot be destroyed. And here's a picture of, the, of that. Here's Jeremiah and here's the king. Okay, and it's about the story that we just kind of read a little bit that way. So that's for you there. You're also gonna find here, it's an interview with Barack. So in here, it's a kind of a little skit to kind of go along with that. So if you were in grades two and up, there's one in, I put one per family in there, and you can maybe find someone in your family to do this with. And one of you can be a reporter, one of you can be Baruch, and you guys can go back and forth, and it kind of helps tell the story again in another way. All right, we're gonna finish off with one more thing today. It's our Justin and Jesse story. Okay, I'm gonna hold this up, and then I'm gonna read the story to you. Strawberries and Scribbles is the title. Look at all the strawberries, cried Justin and Jesse together. They'd been playing in Justin's backyard and just walked into the kitchen. Both their mothers were moving around in the kitchen, getting pots and pans and jars and lids ready. All around them were piles of huge red strawberries. It was strawberry time. They were going to make strawberry preserves. Yummy, can I eat one please, begged Justin. Ooh, I want this one, it's humongous. Here's another big one for you, Jessie. Thanks, Justin, she said, and she bit into the red, ripe strawberry. The juice trickled down her chin. Jessie giggled. Mmm, this is so good. All right, you two, I need you both to start washing the berries in the sink, okay? Justin's mom told him. Okay, the two kids climbed on step tools and started rinsing the strawberries with water. Some of the berries were already pretty clean, but others had mud or dirt on them. Yuck. Ew, we don't want any of that in our strawberry preserves, said Justin. Justin's mom laughed. You mean preserves. Yeah, that's right. Justin laughed too. Then he added, what are preserves anyway? Justin's mom answered, it's like jam. You can spread it on your toast for breakfast or even make a peanut butter and strawberry preserve sandwich. Jessie scrunched up her face. Isn't it easier just to say jam? 
she said. You think so? Hmm, let me try. Jam. Yes, you're right. That is so much easier to say, Jessie's mum replied with a wink. After a while, the kitchen started to smell like sweet strawberry jam. The berries bubbled as they cooked on the stove, and Justin's mum added sugar and stirred the berries in the pot. Justin watched as he stirred. Hey, mum, how come it's called preserves? What does that mean? Well, Justin, when you preserve something, you keep it from being ruined or spoiled. And in this case, case I'm preserving these strawberries by cooking them up with sugar. That keeps them from spoiling, and they last a long, long time, so we can eat them later when there aren't any fresh strawberries around. Mmm, I can't wait. Come on, Jessie, let's go draw for a while. I'm going to draw a hundred strawberries. Justin jumped down from his stool and ran to the family room. He grabbed some crayons and started drawing. Help me with my strawberries. You can draw some on that side of the paper, and I'll draw on this side. Jessie sat down beside him to draw her strawberries. Hey, I know Jessie had a great idea. Let's make this into a card for our moms. It can be a thank you card for making strawberry jam for us. Yeah, we can make it real neat, agreed Justin. Pretty soon it was time for lunch. Justin and Jessie ran into the kitchen to eat. They were in a hurry. They already knew they drew all the strawberries in their pitcher, but they still had to put some green leaves on them. Mom finished feeding Ellie and led her down from the high chair to go play in the family room. Ellie liked to sit at the little table and color with her big crayons. Can I taste the jam? asked Jessie. Oh, me too, chimed in Justin. Sure, come over here and I'll get some spoons. Jessie's mom dipped the spoons into the jam and let it cool a little bit. Then she handed the spoons to the kids. Delicious, they said. Now we have to go finish our drawing. We made it special for you, said Justin. Jessie and Justin ran back to the family room where they were drawing at a little table. Suddenly stopped and stared in horror. Oh, no. There sat Ellie with her big purple crayon, scribbling all over the lovely red strawberry picture that Jessie and Justin had worked so hard on. Ellie, no, yelled Justin. He could feel the tears coming into his eyes. We made that for Mom. What's the matter? Mom hurried into the family room. She could tell something was very wrong. Ellie ruined our picture, Jessie explained. We left it here. We went to eat lunch. When we came back, she was coloring all over it. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sure Ellie didn't know that it was yours. If you want to make another one, though, I can bring Ellie back into the kitchen with me so she won't do it again. Justin and Jessie sadly agreed. They sat down and started all over again. They both knew that Ellie didn't want to do it on purpose. After all, she's only two years old, still just a baby. Finally, Jessie colored in the last green leaf on the picture. They both wrote their names on it. Then they tried to remember how to spell thank you and wrote the best that they could. Mom, they said. Both moms turned around and said yes at the same time. It was kind of funny. The kids handed their picture to Justin's mom. Why, how beautiful, thank you. How about if I put it on the fridge so little Miss Ellie doesn't color on it again? We can preserve it that way. Huh? Our picture has only pretend strawberries on it, you know. You can't make jam or preserves out of it, Justin explained. I know that, silly, said mom, as she gave Justin a hug. But to preserve something also means to keep it safe so it doesn't get ruined or destroyed. Hey, you know what, said Jessie's mom? That reminds me of the king that we were reading about in the Bible yesterday. Do you remember that, don't you, Jessie? Daddy read you about King Joachim. Oh, yeah, he didn't like God's word, so he cut it up and threw it in the fire. It got all burned up, said Jessie. What? That's terrible, replied Justin. What did God do? The same thing you did after Ellie ruined your picture, said Jessie's mom. God told Jeremiah the prophet to start over again. And he did. God's word is very important, and God won't let anybody destroy it. He preserves it and makes it so it stays safe so we can use it to learn about him. Wow, I like the Bible. I'm glad God preserves it for us. But do you, but you know what, asked Justin. I'm hungry for strawberries. Mom laughed and said, well, why don't you come and help me make some strawberry shortcake for dinner? Yay, shouted Justin and Jesse as they grabbed their stepsuits. They liked strawberry time. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed doing your activities and we'll see you next week. Bye.